Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna try something. So, I want to, uh, not want to, I need to <laughs> clean my house, my siding, especially the um, north side of the house where we used to have that great big pine tree that we had cut down last year. The whole house is really green on algae on it. And I tried just some soap with uh, lightly hitting it with the pressure washer and that did nothing at all. So now we're gonna do chlorine on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a batch of this. So basically, I'm going to make two gallons. I'm going to mix this 50-50. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to dump our coin in the bucket. And then I'll just fill this back up with water. That way I can get my gallon of water. And then um, I'm going to show you how we'll spray it. So let me get this mixed real quick. All right, there we go. Now, this would work just like that. But I'm also adding some Dawn dish soap in it. I'm going to put this whole bottle. This is only 5.8 ounces. This is only going to act as a surfactant for us, which is just basically going to make the chlorine kind of stick to whatever we're spraying it on. It's really no different than using a surfactant. If you're doing yard work, spraying weeds, you need something for your chemical to stick to the weeds, basically. So we're going to get this mixed in. And then uh, I guess I'll probably have to stir it up just a little bit. We'll get it stirred up. And then what I'm going to do is take my first... Um, I know that's two gallons. I have one gallon jug, but I'm going to now transfer a gallon of that into this so I can use it for pouring. So let me get that ready for you. All right, guys, I just took a broom handle and stirred it up a little bit. I am going to, like I said, transfer some to this jug. And then this will basically just make it where I can have it for later. We'll take the rest out of the bucket, use it out of that till it's empty. There we go. All right. Now, like I said, we'll just save this for when we need it. And for the time being, we'll just work out of the bucket right now. But what we're going to do to spray this, I'll show you in just a second. All right, guys. So to spray this stuff on the house, I did try the foam cannon last night. This is what I used to wash the truck with. This is just a cheap one I bought off of Amazon a few years ago by Tool Daily. There's like 20 bucks. It might have went up a little bit more now because of inflation and all that bull crap. But... It did work really well spraying soap all the way up to the top of the house. So let me get a different funnel so we can fill that up. All right, so we're just gonna put this mixture right in this. That way we can spray it up on the house. And I don't know how tall the peak of my house is. I can't tell you for sure. You guys will see it here in a minute. But this thing reached just fine, had no issues. So that's what we're gonna use. and. With that being said, since I'm putting chlorine in this and I wash my truck with it, this one will be for house use only now in the future. So I'll buy a new one, one of these, just for the cars. And then, like I said, this one will be for the house. So let me get everything carried over to the side of the house where we're going to start. I'm going to show you all how dirty and nasty it is. And uh, we'll get started on this. So see you all out here in the sun in just a minute. All right, guys, we're on the side of the house now. We got everything set up, pressure washer. And as you can see how dirty this house is, and it is all the way up pretty much, but it's really bad. It don't look bad from the road, but it's bad. It needs a good cleaning. So I'm gonna let uh, Miss Emma here film for me, and we're gonna start spraying and see what this stuff does. Right right now we're going to sit for like five minutes and maybe ten minutes and then we'll come back and we're going to start rinsing it lightly with a uh, with fresh water so see you in a little bit all right guys we're back it's only been like five minutes and i have not rinsed it yet at all show them the house emma i don't know if y'all can see that but that shit all washed away on its own i just need to rinse it now to get all the soap off but we're doing pretty good here Let me try my other nozzle. I'm not, now look, listen here real quick, all right? I'm gonna put in a, this is a 15 degree nozzle. And I'm not doing this to like, try to hit siding hard. I'm just doing it to rinse the soap off. All 
All right, guys. Show them the finished product, Emma. Show them the house. I think it looks a lot better. What do you think, Emma? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, if you want to do this on your house, I got to change tips out because I'm going to wash this concrete off. But if you want to do this or your house needs soft wash, I highly, highly recommend you do this where I just showed you right here. Now, you see on my pressure washer right here, it's got this tank. I can spray soapy water out of it. Clearly says no blood. I'll tear up the seal stuff in it. Whatever. But the foam cannon, I'll put it right here. Okay, this is the one I bought. That's the one you just saw. I am getting ready to buy another one now because I can't use that one on my cars. But you can get one of those. The chlorine was six dollars and for a gallon, and the little 5.8 ounces of Don just soap was 97 cents. So you can literally soft wash your house quite a bit. I didn't even use that whole thing. That well, I don't even know how much that holds 20 ounces maybe. But we made two gallons of this stuff. That's plenty whole entire house which i ain't gonna bore you with it you saw the dirtiest side so thanks for watching make sure you subscribe hit that thumbs up button share with your friends whatever you gotta do we'll see you all